Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Mary Reach to Live and I'm here today to talk to you about The Will of the Many because I read that not too long ago, I just finished it up a couple days ago and it is a beautiful book about a young man named Viz who lives in this society that is very much patterned after ancient Rome where they use very much a hierarchy, colonization type of society and he is um, one of the people whose home has been taken over by this empire and he is now just kind of thrown within it as a survivor. And he starts out as a young man who is just trying to survive and then as the story progresses he gets adopted by an important senator and sent to this um, school of the empire which teaches philosophy, a very much patterned after ancient Rome um, education, philosophy, mathematics, and being able to, in, in poetry reading, but also being able to be physically fit and being able to, for some reason that they don't know why, learn how to go through this very dangerous maze. And so the whole story is about him finding his place and why and finding out the mystery of why he was sent there and why he was adopted and all of that and in this empire even though he's not exactly someone who you would think would be thrust in this situation so it's a really good story and i really enjoyed it and one of the my best one of the best things about it so far i that i can think of is the world building is just so vivid i love the world building it really draws a lot of information on ancient Rome, but it also makes some of it its own. And I like the, the mystery is given to us in a very good way that is, um, helps us to learn more about the world, but also about this mystery that's going on at the school. And I really love the academy part of it. I, I do love a story that has like, that it features school and things like that. that I love seeing how different authors create these, these um, education type of environment so I think that's very very fun. I also really love the characters. The characters were very three-dimensional. More, Some of them were more morally gray. Loyalties are always kind of tested and I think it's awesome and very realistic and their motivations are very real and the tensions in the story were really amped up. Like I love the fact that there are tensions between the characters and tension between characters in this world and the empire. It's all come together as like this. You never know what's going to happen next. You never know how this is going to be affected, um, how these tensions are going to come about or how they're going to affect the other characters of the world itself. So I think that's very, very interesting. And I don't want to give too much away because I know this, there's a lot in this that could be ruined if it was spoiled. So I don't want to spoil it, but it's very, very good. And I think that I, in the way it set it up, it's making me very excited for the second book, because it is a, I think it's going to be a trilogy, and the second, I think the second book is going to be dive much more into this world and the mystery and like what we find out and delve into the details of that and what's really going on. So I think I'm very excited. I'm very excited about that. So I can't wait to see more um, of that. It's the first book by this author that I have actually read. So. All in all, I think I gave it five. I gave it five stars. Um, it was sitting at a four and a half, but then and more I think about it, the more I really um, sit with it, it's more of a five star read. Like I really enjoyed it. Um, now, I'm going to talk about like what are some of my nitpicks about it, because you know nothing perfect. So my nitpicks about it would probably be I would love to, to have spent more time with some of these characters and set up their dynamics a little bit more. I feel like some of that was a little little rush, but the characterizations are really good what we get. But I feel like it, it did feel like he just kind of didn't have the room that he really wanted to have with this. And so he made these really great characters, but there was there you could tell that there was more he wanted to do with it. And I can't wait. Maybe we'll get that in a second, but I don't know. But it's going to be amazing. Um, and so and there's another nitpick I had is that his prose is good what I what we get but it's a very it's a lot of it is very straightforward 
And I think that the writing style kind of, it works for what it is. And I really worked for this kind of, this kind of story. But um, I feel like that it could, that some of it, the descriptions could have been, there could have been more. Maybe because I just want more from the world, but I can't wait to get more of the world. That could be what that is. But that's kind of uh, my take on that. Another thing is that I felt like we were building up to this big thing and the big thing was not what I expected, which is awesome. That was good. But I also feel like a lot of it was this emotional thing that we haven't fully dealt with yet. And so it left me at the end feeling like, huh, it's never already done. But then I know there's another book coming, but that's just kind of the feeling I got. And I was just like, whoa, I can't believe it just like ended like that. But okay. So anyway, I really enjoyed it. That was just some of my, my little my little nitpicks on that. And I like the fact that we get this from a um, my, a first person perspective and it's done very well because it's not something that fantasy, a lot of other fan, epic fantasy writers have done. And so that is something that I did enjoy, even though, of course, there's some pitfalls with that. And maybe that's why I feel like we didn't get enough time with some of the other characters because we don't switch POVs, we don't get that third person omniscient or that third person, you know, look at it. So maybe that, that could be part of it. But so be aware of that if that bugs you that that's going to be part of the book. So now I'm going to go into like what is the takeaway? Like what are some of the themes and things that I would, that we can bring to our everyday lives? And one of it is... One thing is that even through tragedy, we can find our moral center. Like, just because tragedy has struck doesn't mean that that has to take away from who you are and that you can still draw strength from the from your past, even though the, the tragic things have happened and you can become more resilient. And I think that that's part of the thing that really helped Viz along the way is that he became very resilient because of his experiences right so I think that that's something that we can always cover away is that it's our perspective instead of making himself a victim he just he did things he worked hard and he did things to turn things around for himself like he wasn't just sitting there letting life happen to him he actually was actively doing things and I think I really love that and I think that that's something we can all think about and do is when bad things happen like well what good can I do with what I've been given I think that's always very good. And I also love the fact that this story doesn't shy away from the fact that just because someone is in your circle, like someone is nice and someone is your friend, doesn't mean that they're not part of something that isn't good. Like that they're not part of a system that isn't good. And because you like this person doesn't mean that some of the things that they're doing isn't actively harming other people and I think that it takes a good hard look on these characters who you know there, there's no, there's no really good or bad there's just this you know everyone trying to survive and sometimes that survival make people do things that are not considered morally very uh, appropriate we in the fact that you can't trust everyone just because they care about you doesn't necessarily mean that you can trust that the, the people are trustworthy or because you care about them doesn't mean they're necessarily trustworthy. So it's really thinking about um, who you trust and what they're a part of. And I think that that's a very important part is thinking about that. And, and when you're creating, you know, this found family, which is what this book he kind of does in this book, he creates a found family, it does become you know, heartbreaking when some of these dynamics break down, when there are things that happen that are very hard because that some there that trust that was placed has been broken. All right, so all right, so that is my take on the will of the many. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the recap. I enjoyed the writing style. I think that the it was the pacing was done pretty well, even though there were, I think some of the pacing was a little fast for my taste, but it was still really good, very engaging. I love the characters and I really overall gave it a, and the world building as well. So I really love the world building. So overall I gave it a five star, like, so it's a really, really good book, even with 
some little bit extra they're probably going to be but I enjoyed it and I can't wait for the second book in the series so thank you for joining me and as always have an adventure with reading Thank you.